The OmniScan wedge delay only calibration option is typically used in multi-zone TOFT where the lateral wave and back wall or two signals of known position or depth are not available at the same time. Typical of multi-zone thick component TOFT inspection. Enter the calibration wizard under wizard calibration type ultrasound and select the wedge delay option. Select start. Select a reference A scan that represents a good signal indication where we're going to use for the measurement. This is the only option that only requires one target. The system defaults will be displayed for thickness. The PCS will be used in the calculation. It could have been calibrated previously like I see here that it was or it could be measured from the scanner. The software is asking to place the ultrasound reference cursor at the position of the target. In here this is going to represent zero millimeters for the negative first positive the first negative peak of the lateral wave and the time is 10.57 microseconds. Select wedge delay and the UT axis is linearized and we now have millimeters and sound on the cursor. Moving the cursor we can see the position in millimeters and in time. The software used a default velocity from the database and it calibrated the wedge delay. If using standard ST1 Olympus wedges, the wedge delay will always be between approximately 5.5 and 6.9 microseconds depending on the model. Select Accept <clears throat> and at any time after the first time that's done the software can be recalibrated by setting the cursor at a new position and selecting wedge delay from a touch and hold or a right click of the mouse.